Hello to my dearest friend, welcome to my channel. My name is Karamina Fuadi. I made videos about sophisticated lifestyle on a budget. So if you're interested, you might want to stay on this video. So in today's video, I want to talk about decoration on a budget. If you follow me on Instagram, you might see that I just throw a birthday party for my nephew. It was about Mickey Clubhouse. I did everything by myself and to be honest, it doesn't cost that much. And I want to share with you guys how I can make it happen on a budget. So before I get into details, I'm gonna show you guys the pictures that I took on my nephew birthday and how the decoration looked like. It looks really nice for me to be honest. And you might be surprised how much I spent on this decoration. If you guys want to know then keep on watching. The first thing I did before I throw the party, I actually look up on the Pinterest. My first plan is throwing him a safari theme birthday party but then turns out he's not into animals anymore he was into Mickey Clubhouse at that time I've made a mood board about Savary theme birthday party but then once the kid doesn't want it anymore I try to find how Mickey Clubhouse party look like but I want to make it simple I didn't want it to look so vibrant then I look up on Pinterest but most of the picture are too vibrant for me like everything is to put in one place and it doesn't look very aesthetic to me and I don't know why it was like pretty challenging for me to decorate Mickey Clubhouse because it was very bright <laughs> I was expecting it would be like a monochrome theme so most of the pictures that I found on Pinterest are very bright and I didn't really like it until I found this picture <laughs> This really like, oh my gosh, this looks so nice and still colorful, but it's not like all over the place. I like the fact that the balloons are one by one. The color is not like all over the place. And once I see this, I really want to make this happen, but I decided to change it into brown background, not this square background. And yeah, I started making a mood board and start to prepare all the things that I'm gonna need for this decoration. So after I made my mood board on Pinterest, I start making a list of things that I'm gonna buy online. I know that lately balloon garland is a thing and every party has garland in it and I just find it really easy and beautiful for me. Because on this decoration I want to make a balloon garland so I started to count how many balloons I'm gonna use. On my decoration it took around a hundred balloons. I needed 10 balloons for each color but then I bought more because balloons are unpredictable. They might pop in any time, we don't know. On this video I'm not gonna show you how I made those decoration I just want to share to you how I did it because there are plenty videos on YouTube that explain how to do balloon garland and stuff like that I'm gonna link down below on my description box what videos that help me to make my garland so after I write down how many balloons that I'm gonna need it for the decoration and all the things that I'm gonna need it for the decoration I check out all the things that I needed on Shopee make sure that you check out on one store so you don't need to pay for for many shipping costs and tips for me I found this balloon garland strip that's really helpful for me doing this garland because I was really stressful when I made it and once I used that strip it was really easy and just you know it doesn't take that much for me to make the garland and I also used this balloon glue I'm gonna show you here this thing really helped me to add more little balloons on the garland so I think you might gonna need them so after we are finished on the balloon I want to share about from the mood board that I had, this background has a square backdrop and I want to change it because I like the round better than the square. So for the wallpaper, I basically just find pictures on Google that are very high definition because if you don't use the high definition picture it's gonna look blurry on the background and I don't think it will look nice on your decoration but mine actually it is a little bit blurry but it is better than the first time I sent the picture to the print shop the print shop asked me do I have a better picture or not because this doesn't look good at all if I print them but if you want to print them then I will I will just print them for you and then I try to find the high definition wallpaper on Google and I found it but if you have the ability to design your background I would suggest you to do that because it's gonna look better than the ones you took from Google 
once you find your designs then we're gonna move to finding a print shop that is very cheap in your area if you live in jakarta i would recommend you to print at well and print it is very cheap and very easy you can order online and send it by gojek after your order is finished and i want to recommend you to print in albatross paper i don't know if i pronounce it right or wrong i'm gonna write down below and on my decoration i added more characters but i actually didn't really like it so if you don't want to add more characters on your background i suggest you not to because i really like it simple when i added the character it just ruined the whole look for me but it doesn't matter my nephew loves it and here are some tips and tricks for me for the garland you might gonna need a hook but if you buy a cheap hook, I suggest you to change the adhesive behind with this kind of tape. I'm gonna put the picture here. This is a nano tape. It is very strong on the walls, but they don't rip your wall. So I learned a hard way about this nano tape. If you pull it really fast, they just gonna rip your walls. But if you take it a little bit by a little bit, it doesn't gonna ruin your walls at all. And for the background, if you look up on Pinterest, you might see there are a lot of standing background or anything that supports for your background. If you don't have that, you can use your empty walls and basically just decorate on that empty walls. I won't suggest you to use a nano tape for the background because it's gonna be hard when you take them off the walls because you're gonna need more than just one tape or two so I would suggest you to use a paper tape like this they actually really helped me to put up my background on the walls and when I took it off they just don't break my walls my walls still look the same as before but yeah I would suggest you to take it off a little bit by a little bit instead of rip it off just like that because it's gonna ruin your walls if you do it like that but this tape doesn't as hard as the nano tape to take it off the garland gonna need more support that's why I use the nano tape not this I tried to use this paper tape on the walls too to hold the hook but it doesn't really give a lot of support on that and move to the budget that I spent on this decoration I spent about 300,000 rupiah for this decoration it's about $20. I know it's very cheap but if you can find any cheaper option then you can do that absolutely and I'm gonna add the details on the screen so you can see how much I spent. Another tip that you should do for the decoration I would suggest you to prepare all of this a month before because we never knew what would happen on the shipment or what would happen if the design doesn't look nice that you can revise if there's something happen on your project so this is the end of the video i hope you find this video really helpful for you if you want to throw a birthday party for your kid you still can look fabulous and sophisticated on a budget so don't worry i will help you here if you haven't followed me on instagram you might want to follow me on instagram it's at karamina Fuadi. i'm signing off i hope you guys like this video don't forget like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys for watching love you